Hey Superstars, welcome back to one of my Through the Mail autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug him for an autograph. This one's part of Caleb's Junk Wax Challenge, where he sent a bunch of us TTM nerds a pack of 1986 Topps bubblegum cards, and we were tasked with getting as many autographs out of the pack as we can. Today's lucky victim is Mr. Jeff Reardon. So the stakes are high. I'm playing with the big boys now. I've got to up my game. Jeff Reardon's nickname was the Terminator, which of course means that he's a cybernetic organism living tissue over metal endoskeleton sent from the year 2029 to destroy John Connor. He was a T704 to be exact, an archaic predecessor to the more popular T1000. I suppose he got distracted from his little destroying John Connor mission because he ended up in New York City seeking out the best New York style pizza. While scarfing down a slice of pepperoni at Ray's one afternoon, Robo Jeff met Mets manager Joe Torre. Cyberdyne Systems, creators of the Terminator series of robots, really didn't pay that well. So when Torre told Reardon that there was good money in baseball, Robo Jeff was all aboard. Throwing little white balls seemed to be a whole lot easier than tracking down some kid that hadn't been born yet. It was still 1979. But New York was no place for a murder bot trying to hide from Skynet, so he convinced Joe to trade him to Montreal where his career really took off. Robo Jeff became one of the most feared closers in all of baseball with his laser-sharp 98-mile-an-hour fastball. He made four all-star teams, two World Series teams, and is one of baseball's all-time saves leaders. But the threat of Skynet tracking him down was always looming, so he did have to move around quite a bit, pitching for the Mets, Expos, Twins, Red Sox, Braves, Reds, and Yankees. In hindsight, maybe he should have stuck to his mission as the T-1000 model that replaced him was in many hit movies like Running Man, Total Recall, and Jingle All the Way, and he became the governor of California. But still, Robo Jeff has a better beard, so there's that. There's my doodle and that 1986 Topps card. A little cash bribe never hurt. I'm in it to win it, buddy. Custom sticker and off to the mailbox. Skynet never tracked him down, but I was able to. Let's see what we got. Sweet! Sign the card. One point for Reindeer Studios. I'm on the board. And the doodle. As usual, I told him to keep the doodle, but he sent it back signed, so I sent this one to Autographs for a Cure. If you'd like to buy this one and help out a good cause, links in the description below. But these tend to sell pretty quick, so good luck. Thank you so very much, Mr. Reardon. This one came out really cool. And thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And I'll be back. Stay safe out there, friends.